Budapest, Hungary's capital, is bisected by the River Danube. Its 19th century chain bridge connects the hilly Buda district with Flatpest. A funicular runs up Castle Hill to Buda's old town, where the Budapest History Museum traces city life from Roman times onward. Trinity Square is home to 13th century Matthias Church and the turrets of the Fisherman's Bastion, which offer sweeping views. If you haven't been here, it's time you make plans to do so. The city appeals to many. You can step out of a thermal bath and right into a nightclub and then back into the bath. In a city that dates back to the old Stone Age, visiting history buffs can take their pick between Roman, Neo-Gothic, Renaissance, and Ottoman architecture at sites like Beauty Castle and Fisherman's Bastion. Budapest is famous for its thermal springs, some of which have been used for therapeutic purposes since prehistory. In fact, Budapest has so many things to do that you'll want to spend at least a few days exploring this dynamic city. Popular attractions range from impressive architecture and poignant reminders of 20th century history to its vibrant cultural and entertainment scene, with everything from street buskers to classical concerts and beautiful churches. It is also a paradise for people who love shopping, from the traditional wares and delicious foodstuffs available at the grand old Central Market Hall to Vasai Street. Noted for its mix of luxury boutique with big brand names, the best option when it comes to finding accommodations in Budapest is to focus on the pest side of the Danube, home to wide cobbled streets as well as attractions such as the Parliament Buildings and the Museum of Fine Arts. Let's explore more about the best places to visit in Hungary's capital with our video of the top tourist attractions and things to do in Budapest. Before we get started, Make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and click the bell button so you don't miss our new upcoming videos. 1. St. Stephen's Basilica St. Stephen's Basilica is a Roman Catholic basilica in Budapest, Hungary. It is named in honor of Stephen, the first king of Hungary, whose right hand is housed in the reliquary. It was the sixth largest church building in Hungary before 1920. Since the renaming of the Primatial See, it has been the co-cathedral of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Estergom, Budapest. This is the most important church building in Hungary, one of the most significant tourist attractions, and today, it is the third largest church building in present-day Hungary. The roof, towers, and external walls were badly damaged in World War II, and the church's precious mosaics fell from the walls. However, these were successfully restored to their original place and are the highlight of the richly decorated interior. The most impressive of these, the five-part Venetian mosaic is in the sanctuary and represents the allegories of the Mass. One of the best things to do here, if time permits, is to take one of the two elevators that carry visitors up to the cupola for awesome views over the city and the Danube. Guided tours of the Basilica are available on weekdays. 2. Beauty Castle and Castle Hill Budapest Castle Hill contains many of the city's most important monuments and museums. Topping the list of these impressive structures is the 18th century Beauty Castle, a massive 200-room palace that replaced a 13th-century castle built to protect the stronghold from Mongol and Tartar attacks. Although badly damaged in World War II, much of the exterior has been restored, along with sections of the interior, which now houses a number of important museums. These include the Hungarian National Gallery in the main wing, while in the south wing, the Budapest History Museum occupies four floors. In front of the castle, overlooking the Danube, stands a bronze equestrian statue of Prince Eugene of Savoy, a hero of Turkish attacks on the city. Castle Hill is worth exploring for its medieval lanes and its Romanesque, Gothic, and Baroque architecture. Like much of the city, Beauty Castle is spectacularly illuminated at night, and the castle courtyards remain open 24 hours a day. You can reach the castle on the restored, historic Castle Funicular Railway, which departs from the Buda end of the chain bridge. 3. Parliament Building Budapest the Hungarian Parliament Building, also known as the Parliament of Budapest after its location, is the seat of the National Assembly of Hungary, a notable landmark of Hungary, and a popular tourist destination in Budapest. It is situated on Kossuth Square in the Pest side of the city, on the eastern bank of the Danube. It was designed by Hungarian architect Imre Steindl in neo-Gothic style and opened in 1902. It has been the largest building in Hungary since its completion. The architectural style of the Hungarian Parliament building was influenced by the Gothic Vienna City Hall. The Renaissance elements, like the cupola, was influenced by the Maria Vom Siege Church in Vienna. The Parliament is accessible with Line 2 of the Budapest Metro and with Tram Line 2 from the Kossuth Lajo Square Station. Guided tours last approximately 45 minutes and are available whenever the government is not sitting and include many of the building's highlights, 
such as the main entrance hall and various lobbies. 4. Fisherman's Bastion Fisherman's Bastion is one of the best-known monuments in Budapest, located near the Buda Castle in the first district of Budapest. It is one of the most important tourist attractions due to the unique panorama of Budapest from the neo romane s lookout terraces. The Fisherman's Bastion's main facade, parallel to the Danube, is approximately 140 meters long, of which the southern aisle is about 40 meters long, the north is 65 meters long, and the ornate central parapet is 35 meters long. Its seven high-pitched stone towers symbolize the seven chieftains of the Hungarians who founded Hungary in 895. The original walls were built in the 17th century, forming part of the walls of the castle. Several historians say that in the Middle Ages this part of the castle walls was protected by the Guild of Fishermen, who lived under the walls in the so-called Fishtown or Watertown. The current structure was built between 1895 and 1902 in Neo-Romanesque, on the base of a stretch of the Buda Castle walls by architect Frigi Schulek, who was also responsible for the restoration of the Methodist Church. Since 1987, it has been one of Budapest's World Heritage Sites as part of the Buda Castle District. While here, be sure to look for the bronze equestrian statue of St. Stephen, the first king of Hungary, in the South Courtyard. 5. Hungarian State Opera House The Hungarian State Opera House is a neo-Renaissance opera house located in central Budapest, on Andrasia. Originally known as the Hungarian Royal Opera House, it was designed by Miklos Ibel, a major figure of 19th century Hungarian architecture. Construction began in 1875, funded by the city of Budapest and by Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria-Hungary, and the new house opened to the public on the 27th September 1884. Before the closure of the Nepsenaz in Budapest, it was the third largest opera building in the city. Today, it is the second largest opera house in Budapest and in Hungary. The decoration of the symmetrical facade follows a musical theme. In niches on either side of the main entrance, there are figures of two of Hungary's most prominent composers, Ferenc Erkel and Franz Liszt. Both were sculpted by Elagio Strabel. The foyer is marble columns. The vaulted ceiling is covered in murals by Bertolain Sikli and more than. They depict the nine muses. Wrought iron lamps illuminate the wide stone staircase and the main entrance. Going to the opera was a great social occasion in the 19th century. A vast, sweeping staircase was an important element of the opera house as it allowed ladies to show off their new gowns. The main hall is decorated with a bronze chandelier weighing 3,000 kg. It illuminates a fresco by Caroli Lotz, depicting the Greek gods on Olympus. The central stage proscenium arch employed the most modern technology of the time. It featured a revolving stage and metal hydraulic machinery. 6. Matthias Church Matthias Church, also known as the Church of Our Lady, is a prominent landmark on Castle Hill. It was completed in 1269. During the Turkish occupation of 1541 to 1699, the church was used as a mosque and was later renovated in the Baroque style. It has been the scene of several historic events, including the coronation of King Charles I of Hungary in 1309 and the coronation of Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria and his consort Elizabeth as rulers of Hungary. The free organ concerts held here on Sunday evenings are well worth attending. Also worth checking out, the Ecclesiastical Art Museum is located on the church's medieval crypt and features a collection of sacred relics, stone carvings, and replicas of the Hungarian crown jewels. 7. Szecheny Thermal Bath Budapest is well known worldwide for its incredible thermal springs, many of which have been harnessed to provide citizens, as well as visiting tourists, the opportunity to relax and rejuvenate in thermal baths. Of the many such attractions, Budapest, the best known is Szecheny Thermal Bath. Established in 1913, it's supplied by two thermal springs. It's also the biggest such facility in Europe, capable of handling thousands of bathers at a time in its three outdoor pools, including an adventure pool that's great for families and 15 indoor pools. In addition to its pools, guests can enjoy its saunas and steam rooms, as well as spa services, including massages. For a special treat, pay a visit to the baths after nightfall. Day tickets can be purchased online or upon arrival. 8. Museum of Fine Arts Established in 1870 after Hungary inherited a fine collection of paintings, drawings, and prints, the museum is divided into six excellent departments, Egyptian art, ancient art, the old sculpture gallery, the old painter gallery, the modern collection, and the graphics collection. The adjacent Palace of Art is the city's leading contemporary art museum and hosts many temporary exhibits, 
so be sure to check for current offerings. Note that this is not to be confused with the Palace of Arts, a high-tech art center that houses the Ludwig Museum, a contemporary art collection with works by Picasso, David Hockney, and numerous Hungarian masters. 9. Hero Square and the Millennium Monument The impressive Hero Square was largely the work of architect Albert Chickadance, who was also responsible for the huge Museum of Fine Arts that flanks this large open space. Highlights include the Millennium Monument, a 36-meter column crowned by a figure of the Archangel Gabriel, and unveiled in the late 19th century. Around the plinth can be seen a group of bronze horsemen representing the conquering major Prince Arpin and six of his fellow warriors. On either side of the column, colonnades extend in a semicircle, and between the individual pillars stand statues of Hungarian rulers. Above the corner pillars are beautiful works in bronze by Zala. It's an especially nice place to visit at night when illuminated. 10. Central Market Hall Built in 1897 and the largest and oldest of Budapest's many markets, it's as interesting to view from the inside as it is on the outside, particularly if you enjoy people watching. As cavernous as any major rail terminal in Europe, this popular indoor marketplace encompasses an area of over 10,000 square meters and is as famous with the locals as it is with tourists, here for the abundance of fresh produce, eatables, foodstuffs, and other goods. If you are super hungry, grab a bite to eat from one of the vendors on the second mezzanine level, or a pastry and coffee on the go as you continue to explore. While Saturdays are naturally the busiest days at the market it's closed on Sundays, you can avoid the larger crowds with a weekday visit. If you're an early riser, get here for early morning. It opens at 6 a.m. when it's fun watching the vendors setting up and prepping their produce for sale. 11. City Park The city park is a public park close to the center of Budapest, Hungary. It is a 0.9 by 0.6 mile rectangle, with an area of 3-2 acres located in District 14 of Budapest. Its main entrance is at Hero Square, one of Hungary's World Heritage Sites. The city park was the main venue of the 1896 Millennium Celebrations of Hungary, by which time Andrassy Avenue, Millennium Underground, and the Grand Boulevard had been built. 12. Margaret Island Margaret Island is a 2.5-kilometer long island, 500-meter wide, 238 acres in area in the middle of the Danube in central Budapest, Hungary. The island is mostly covered by landscape parks and is a popular recreational area. Its medieval ruins are reminders of its importance in the Middle Ages as a religious center. The island spans the area between the Margaret Bridge and the Arpad Bridge. Before the 14th century, the island was called Insula Laporum Island of Rabbits. Administratively, Margaret Island used to belong to the 13th district, but now is directly under the control of the city. Its appearance today was developed through the connection of three separate islands, the Festo, Painter, Aferto, Bath, and the Nulak, Rabbits during the end of the 19th century to control the flow of the Danube. Originally, the island was 12.5 meters above sea level, but now has been built up to 14.85 meters above sea level to control flooding. Things to do here include bike rentals or enjoying a meal at one of the many restaurants. If visiting at night, be sure to head to the Margaret Island Musical Fountain for its illuminations.